Cubs and wasn't really forced to use any of the Koopa Claw mix-ups at that point, you know? Um, yeah. Looks like we're going to get right into it, or is it? are they doing a button check? Yeah, probably not. Mm. Uh, like I said, Guerrero was playing uh, Pithra previously in bracket, so... Oh, so Sonic Fina and uh, Guerrero, the legendary DDD, now playing a, a good character, finally. Um, and um, I feel like this matchup is definitely going to be a lot be uh, easier for Mithra. Mithra is a really fast character, character that can whiff punish really well. And Sonic being the character that, that the abomination that, that he is, uh, I feel like Mithra can definitely, definitely close space on Sonic bodies. Already, I definitely like the way that um, Sonic Fiend is actually kind of using his um, spin dash, I think it is, to actually, you know, get out of ledge, just in situations in general. And isn't really trying to stay away from Guerrero. So, I really like that about um, him right now. Yeah, Sonic Fiend being a little bit more aggressive. Sonic Fiend is actually a pretty aggressive Sonic when he wants to be. Um, he definitely has his moments where he doesn't interact. But right now, you could definitely see him trying to put a lot of pressure on Guerrero and really checking if Guerrero can deal with some of these spin dash to homing attack mix-ups. Very nice looking out that approach, but is this going to be death? Ooh, not just yet, but that was very nice pressure coming in there. And I have to say, um, that Spring Escape coming out from Sonic King was pretty good. And what helped Sir? Uh, I, Sonic Fiend just took every single vitamin in the cabinet and, <laughs> and didn't work out for him. Pretty interesting, though. It, that was a pretty interesting mix up. Why is Sonic up to the edges? That, that was at 150 and wasn't even remotely close to taking that stuff. Uh, so doing this thing. Is that gonna kill? Was that a little bit of bad SDI? I mean, not DI, I'm SDI, just regular DI. I'm not sure on that. I don't know. Mithra, Mithra is pretty light, and she was at 150. So I don't know. Either way, the stuff by Sonic Fiend definitely outpacing right now. And you see Guerrero trying to do the Pyra, and I have, I think the problem right now is with Pyra. She is scary, but if you're playing if you're playing as a character like Sonic, you just need to commit. And let your Sonic be and commit to it anyway, and you get up smashed. So good stuff like Guerrero. Hey. I'm playing a really good advantage right now, honestly. Just making it a little bit harder for Guerrero to actually hit Sonic Fiend, or hit him. Yeah, and you see, you see Guerrero actually reading reading that that uh, homing attack and trying to preemptively swing against Sonic Fiend's spin dash approaches, and that's that's you know that is a strategy that you can try to employ. Um, it can be a little hard though since Sonic spin dash is like pretty hard to react to, especially online. But you no know, strategy nonetheless. Just trying to kind of, it looks like he's trying to just put a little bit of pressure while also trying to get away and oh, that was very much looking like death for a second, but honestly, I'm trying not to really interact with Guerrero, but also kind of doing that, if that makes sense. Yeah, it, it, it seems like Sonic Fiend is spin dashing back and forth, kind of fishing for something. Maybe a spin dash into a forward air or... Ooh, and that was yeah. That yeah, that spring yeah. Um, Mithra Very does nice. not. They, yeah, Mithra they they don't have good recoveries. Um, you know, horizontally, especially from that angle. So good stuff by Sonic in recognizing that. It's definitely looking like it would probably be an even worse matchup for um, Guerrero if. He really chooses to stay in Pythra, but wow, never mind making me eat my words. He's gonna definitely take that stock, but you know, Sonic Fiend definitely did get a really good amount of um, extra credit going in there. Yeah, and something that Guerrero is good at, it seems like, is recognizing 
when Spin Dash hits his shield and noticing that Sonic Bean likes to immediately jump up and try to homing attack. And that's the second time that they called out one of those with the forward smash or up air. And um, Photon Edge running into that forward smash, that move is like minus a million on shield. So, um, you know, pretty easy punish for Sonic Fiend. Very nice first game coming in from Sonic Fiend. Yeah. De it definitely it definitely seems like um, you know, Guerrero had trouble in the beginning of the game to kind of circumvent Sonic dashing back and forth with Spin Dash. And that lead definitely carried on um, towards pretty much the whole game one. Um, Guerrero was on the back foot the whole time and only really netted kills as Pyra and those are kind of like few and far in between um, when he got a hit with Pyra. That was smashed crazy though. This is also a nicely placed um, spring right there. Like, yeah. Like that. Yes, knowing he couldn't horizontally recover. And we got the we got the DDD. Yes, so the Wi-Fi king is here. DDD. The, the day -day Wi-Fi king is here. This. Yeah. What do, I want to what do you, what is your opinion of DDD Jazzy? I I want to know. So I actually think that right DDD answers only. Good at the right answers only, Jazzy. Oh. 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 I, I wasn't going to say anything very bad about this character because I actually think that DDD can put in a lot of situations, especially with how they um, choose to use Gordo. So before I get attacked for wanting to say that DDD is not a good character, I actually think he's a really good character. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, definitely looking at like the way that they choose to really um, throw out their um, Gordo and how they choose to kind of dance around shields in the air is definitely kind of one of my favorite things about this character. And just spin dashing right into that mouth of his. Love that. That is interesting. So you're right. You're definitely right about the DDDs and the Gordo placements. I feel like the mark of a good DD, DDD player is one to know the one to throw the Gordos and how to place them. But I did not know that inhale interacted with spin dash the way it is. Um, Yeah, I think probably the only thing that kind of sets DDD like apart from all the other heavies is that it's a little bit hard for him to do a lot of things. Like, obviously, like, you know, you have the one, you know, um, thing that, you know, a lot of heavies have a lot of time you know, just um, getting kills for, for most heavies. That's a lot. Like, a lot of heavies have a really good time, but I think, um, you know, DDD is just probably one of the ones that do have a little bit of trouble killing from what I've seen personally. Yeah, DD's have trouble killing mostly because uh, he's, he struggles to get people in the situation where they excel. So DD does excel as a ledge trapper. It's just that the, it's hard for DD to consistently get people to the ledge. Because um, he's slow, doesn't have the fastest aerials, um, airspeed isn't the best so you know it can be really difficult to get people in the situation but once he gets you there like right now it can be pretty dangerous yeah honestly it i think if you know like when you talk about like some of like the moves that he has um probably the best i'd probably say like is honestly after i'm sorry that's one of like my like moves I think actually is really good for DDD is really just F tilt. Ooh. If it's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, no, the, no, it's just that it's just that it's really slow. So you get a lot of his moves. Yeah, no, F tilt is pretty good and just taking a fist to the face. Um but yeah, DDD does have some good moves. F tilt is a pretty good move. Um one thing that I like that Guerrero is doing is like Guerrero is placing his guard really well and they're utilizing the top two platforms of Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium right now. And especially in a game where Sonic is going to be spin dashing back and forth. And he, if you want to throw out the Gordo safely and not get retaliated against, you know, um, immediately, I feel like throwing him out and then going to retreat to that platform is a pretty good idea. Going back to um, DDD's F tilt, um, so it's a very nice dash tag placed right there. Um, but in PM, I think it's actually a lot faster than it is in this, most of the, 
games that do do zen. Relevant. Um, which I actually would. Well, yeah, but like, it's, when you like use DDD, it's um I think it has a, less active frames for um very like faster like output, so you can just throw it out probably like two times, and then it'll just be covering a lot of space while also um just being fast enough to just um you know kind of threaten the um, other player. You know, I, I'm no, I never endorse um advocating for DZ to be good. But um, one thing I will say though, um, the Absolt in this game, although being slow, is definitely a good tool to throw out <clears throat> at the ledge. And um, it's, it, it is, it's still even pretty active in this game. But um, yeah, and right now, utilizing those forward tilts to throw Sonic back off the stage twice and making it hard for him to land. And I'm throwing out that back there with Tonic trying to like aggressively land on the ground. That's pretty. Pretty good stuff coming out from the DDD legend. There will be absolutely no DDD slandering in the South Soul. If not, I think Devin will have our heads. Oh, Wait, all, what? all slander. I hate this character. You mean Sweet. DDD enabling. Wait, what? I hate this character. You mean DDD enabling. That's what you mean. No oh. DDD enabling in this household. Yeah, we, we do not enable. It's Penguin. Oh. He just swings. I thought you liked this Penguin. No. I guess, I mean, never mind. Slender, this is what you want. Oh, I think Sonic King got kicked out. Oh. <laughs> well, that's yeah, it happens. Yeah, Nintendo Wi Fi, what are you gonna do? Um, <clears throat> I mean, Nintendo Internet, she's not Wi Fi. Nintendo, um, Internet. Nintendo just makes everybody sad sometimes. Yeah, maybe I'm. Um, I think I got banned from playing Sonic for those um, oh. people um, behind the scenes pulling um those pullers and the pullies and lovers in the background. You know what I mean? So, um, hashtag uh, rig brackets. I'm um, speaking of rig. Um, go to that match, Reno. While we're waiting, yep, absolutely. While, while we're waiting for it. the unbanned Sonic scene, um, <laughs> go, go do it. X. XW57, add 50 cents to the pot for free. It's for free. free. It's. Oh free. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Get connected for free. My man just went to town. Does he know Wi Fi? On that mic. Best with, connection, love that. With how free. free. It, you're able to end. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, Wow, 34% already. Okay. Um, so one thing one thing I think Sonic Fiend should do is kind of switch up the tempo a little bit, right? I feel like Sonic Sonic Fiend has one speed, right? Yeah, I get it. He has to go fast. But I, I just feel like, you know, take a take a little bit of time to observe what's going on. And he's just he's pretty much just spin dashing back and forth. I feel like Guerrero is getting a a read on how he's approaching. And even though he's losing right now. Um, you know, some some of these some of these one-year approaches can still get beaten out, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Forget what I'm saying, because Sonic Fiend is not taking any percent yet. I mean, maybe you're just waiting for this zero to death. A very long zero to death, but it's still zero to death nonetheless. But yeah, as you were saying with the um just slowing it down, I also kind of agree with that um fact just because simply, you know, DD can place a lot of like of his tools around especially on like the stage so being able to just kind of learn how to maneuver it really well would probably be like the best course of like such um action for um sonic fiend yeah and guerrero getting some percent but like at a big deficit now now this is this is the trouble for sonic right now how will he get the stock and another call out by Guerrero, and that's something he's been consistent with even as Pyra and Mithra. Calling out some of these some of these spin dashes onto shields into um into homing attack. And you know, something that Sonic does need to watch out for is the percent to get later and stronger. You can also actually mix that up, I'm pretty sure if you like probably jump a little bit higher or I know there's definitely ways you can actually mix that up. I'm not entirely sure, but 
I've definitely seen it before from a lot of Sonic oh. media movies that I would definitely like that. That reaction was wild. Okay, so yeah, Guerrero's definitely scattering these out. Like, he's scouting out every single one of these homing attacks, and he seems like he has a punish for each one. But, being, speaking of a punish, DDD's big body just got him smoked by the up smash. I, I, we're gonna talk about that. That's so crazy. Yeah. Um, that was probably the third time he did that this game. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and this, this is what I mean. It's, you know, it's just pre it's a little bit predictable, and it seems like Guerrero has got has a read on that honestly since since game one, right? But um, you know, Sonic Fiend, you know, still playing well, right? You know, he's still gaining a lot of percent, but it's still something that he needs to watch out for, because if he does that again at one of these late percents, that could be his stock, and he could you know losing a stock pretty early. Definitely waiting to see, you know, like who's going to be taking this leak because Honig definitely needs to have a lot more survivability in order to kind of contest with it because if he can't really find, you know, the kill early enough, then it's definitely going to be, you know, really bad for him in the long run. Mm -hmm. And you know what it is against, uh, you know, against characters like DDD, right? Like characters that aren't so great. You have to interact with them less. And because usually what happens is they have a lot of things that are good. They have do have good factors, right? And, you know, the good factor about Sonic is his back hair. So you know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And just like you said, there's that mix-up that you were talking about. Um, instead of jumping out of it, um, instead of immediately going to a home attack. We got an air dodge out of Sonic Beam that time. Is that gonna kill? Yeah, so we're gonna see that back air coming in from Guerrero. Um, definitely tying it up just a little bit. Um, and very nice f as well coming in, punishing that um, spin dash. Yeah. But I really yeah. love the ways that, you know, I'm sorry, uh, Guerrero is actually trying to punish all of these options out of shield, especially since um, he's a bigger character. I feel like um, it'll be a lot to kind of reach Sonic as opposed to like other characters who can't really punish him out of shield. Mm -hmm. And you know, Sonic Fiend does need to be careful, right? Like even though Sonic Fiend is in the lead right now, Sonic Fiend is playing with fire when he's doing these things. And um, it can work out in the end, but this is definitely something that maybe in the future, depending on how this game turns out, like you just, something you need to be wary of. Um, but um, but you know, you know, and also you know what it is. It's like you know, if if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it looks like it's not broken yet. Mm -hmm. oh. Very nice. Um, but I still feel like you should. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Oh. This okay, guys, and this is why you play a good character. Okay, guys, <laughs> this this is I look. Good stuff to Sonic Fiend because he just didn't care and he's, you know, don't, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. But he did get better charactered. Like, that was like OD. He springed him. The spring was crazy. really smart. The spring was really smart because that was the first time he went all the way down to contest DDD, right? He went all the way down there, contested him with the spring to make him re make his recovery angle a lot lower. So he would have time to two frame him with the forward smash. That was really good by Sonic. That was really good by Sonic. Very, very good. And the kind of thing about like, especially like matchups where it's very hard for you to kill, especially like considering Sonic, because we definitely know like it's kind of hard for Sonic to kill. So it's kind of just that thing that like, granted Sonic can move fast. It still kind of puts them into the situation where it's like, you kind of need to be wary of the fact that like, you can still put a lot of damage onto your opponent, but you still need to be very careful because, you know, at any point you can die. So you kind of just need to, you know, kind of keep in mind that the fact that like you need to kind of use your movement to the point where it's just like you can kind of evade everything while also trying to kill your opponent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just try to, try to play evasive. And um, 
I, I do think that one thing about this matchup is that although Guerrero was calling out a lot of these approaches coming out from Sonic Fiend, right? DDD as a character is still kind of slow, right? So it was a lot of preemptive swings that he had to do. And I feel like Sonic Fiend kind of just abused that, abused that factor because even though Guerrero did see it coming, right? Didn't matter. My character's fast, right? So, um, and, and I feel like a lot of these instances were just interactions where, like, you know, you play the odds. Dude, am I, are you going to hit me? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Or am I going to get punched by DDD? And you played the odds and you won. So that's, like, really good. That's good stuff. Good stuff. And um, <clears throat> Guerrero played, played well, well also, but...